Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is the new game from From Software, and they're the creative minds behind the Dark Souls games and Dragon Souls before that. So if you're familiar with the Souls games, then you know a little bit of what we're about to get into here in Sekiro. Now, I've avoided any spoilers about the game story. I know a little bit. I know, like, from the trailers, he has a prosthetic limb of some kind at some point. I have gone ahead and I've played about the first little bit of the game. I'd say, story-wise, it's only about two minutes. I spent about a half hour in the first little area, basically, fighting the cu first couple enemies and dying a couple of times and just making sure that I knew how to control the character just a little bit before we get into things too much. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with the Souls games and typically don't play a lot of action titles so it will be very different for me and it might be fun to uh, watch me get annihilated but it also might be incredibly frustrating so we'll see. So I'm gonna start a new game here and we'll just jump right into Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Oh, I haven't seen any of the cinematics. I skipped the cinematics and didn't read any of the text so far in the game. So all the story will be new to me. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. Is the war finally over? What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Yeah, so obviously, if graphic violence is not your thing, I think we know what we're Some in for here. Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy 
he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Okay, we are now at some point in the future from what we just saw where we have lost our father and our master, apparently. And now we are sitting in this dark hole. But what exactly happened? That we don't know. ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's Wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. Okay, so clearly a letter intended for us. Now we could go this way, but uh, we can go either way. Not sure, but we don't have a lot of health. So we're going to have to be careful. Press A. So we can kind of double jump off a wall. We can wall jump. Gives us an additional boost to our jump, basically. Ah, the Ashina Reservoir. Okay. Now, even though I have not played much of any of the Dark Souls games. I've played a little bit, and I've watched quite a few hours actually of Christopher Odd play Dark Souls, so I know that I have to be careful and approach things cautiously. And that means just not just running into new areas without looking ahead of me and seeing if there are enemies ahead and things like that. I need to be aware of my surroundings and cautious and calm. We'll see how that works out. So we can wall hug and we can creep along ledges and we can also uh, peer around corners just by getting to the edge of the wall and then we can look around like right here we see a couple of guys. So we know what we're not going to do is run out here into the middle and start swinging at all these guys because A. we don't have a sword, B. if we had a sword that probably wouldn't work out still. Stealth. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. Uh, so we can see little colored markers above the enemies depending on how alert they are. Yellow, red. Red, I'm assuming, means they have spotted us. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. Yikes. Yeah, they didn't bother to bind us in any way. So I guess now we know why. They kind of assumed we would just stay down there and uh, rot, I guess. Wolf can slip into tight spaces such as beneath floors when crouched. Yeah, we kind of were just told that. And we're going to practice that now. By creeping under this building. The foundation is raised just enough for us to comfortably get beneath it. We can eavesdrop. We're definitely doing the that. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Gunichiro has his reasons. Lord Gunichiro? Okay. 
I hope we'll hear that name again. I'm going to try to write down the names of characters we meet so I can keep track of who is who. So far, all I know is we're in the land of Ashina, and there's been a military coup. That was years ago. We were taken in uh, by our father, the man we met, the giant burly bearded man, and became... I don't want to say his son, although he referred to us or to his to himself as our father, but clearly we are in somebody's on play. We have a master who we serve as well, and we failed to keep them safe apparently, and now we're creeping around here. And so I'm assuming we have to get up. Um, is that the tower that we're talking about? I'm assuming that it must be. Oh, we can eavesdrop on these guys too from here. The Moonview Tower door. Need to check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but <laughs> nobody fixed that hole in the wall. Hmm. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. Oh, oh, no one, huh? Well, we'll show you. So by listening into these guys, we're going to find out clues about the area, the environment, and ways to go. Things we can take advantage of to meet our objectives it seems like now can I drop down here without them hearing me yes I can so we can ledge hang in, in a similar way that we can shimmy along it we can drop down here obviously we can't walk along this one but we can do a shimmy we're calling it during left hang shimmy okay and carefully not hit the B button here and hit X to climb back up. Don't see anybody perched up there. I'm sure at some point we'll have to worry about archers and stuff. Okay. We can jump and grab a ledge, uh, which is probably what they want us to do there. Can't quite reach that one. There we go. And this must be the hole that the guards were talking about. No, maybe not. Ah, uh, ah, here we go. It's right here. Just the wrong hole. <gasps> you did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. And so he must be our master, the one we are supposed to I've protect to at all you. cost. Yeah. My yes. Lord. Well then. Raise your head. Oh, thank you. Kusabimaru. Your sword. Kusabi Maru. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. We hadn't already done this. I guess As not. As you command. Kusabi Maru, so this is the name of the katana. A katana given by Kuro. Kuro, Kuro, I'm no doubt going to mispronounce all this. Kuro, the divine heir. An heirloom of the Hirata family, a cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusabi Maru beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill 
but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra of the blade itself may manifest. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know what it means by it may manifest. Maybe if we... I don't know. I'm not sure. Say maybe if we kill too many people, the sword is less effective, but that doesn't really make sense from what I know. But maybe we'll find out at a later time. Well, he probably has more to say, but let's explore the little house we're in. I'm assuming there's not going to be any enemies up here. Pellets. Medicinal pellets that solely restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battle since times long gone. And lent to the famed... And lent... To the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Okay, so those are, are healing, like the life gems from Dark Souls. And if we go into our inventory, uh, equipment menu allows you to change your currently equipped items. There are five slots available to equip and switch out quick items as needed. Yes, so if we check out our quick items, we can put... Uh, the pellets there in case we need some healing and they'll be slotted and we can use those with pressing by pressing up on the d-pad obviously we could actually do that now since we are very low on health and this should yes over time it's gonna restore our health very awesome whoops can't open that I guess Alright, so that, I guess, is all that there is up here. Let's see what else uh, Kiro can tell us. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Okay, healing gourd. A gourd filled with vitality, restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd. Made by an apprentice of the extraordinary Dr. Dogen. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret of to how it works. <laughs> I like that they address, they kind of break the fourth wall there, but not really. Very, very cool way now of then, tackling that in the lore. Injured? Afterward? Uh, I don't. After what? I don't know what do happened. Not remember that night. I do not. Oh. Mm. No, we'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Okay, so the reason why we don't know what the heck is going on really is because our character doesn't know what's going on. Something happened. On a fateful night, and there was a battle, we may have been wounded, he asked us, we were clearly wounded, I mean, we woke up with basically no health. So, the boy, Kuro, he knows what happened, and we'll talk about it later, apparently. I kind of want those details now, but uh, if they're distracting, yeah, let's focus on getting out of here, I guess. Using quick items, you can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality. Yes, got that. Okay, so yeah, we can, uh, let's go ahead and set that as another item. Healing Gourd, there we go. And if we switch if over on the D-pad, we can toggle between these. Let's keep the Healing Gourd up since we are out of the pellets at the moment. I'm sure we'll get more of those at some point. Make sure there aren't any just sitting around down here. Doesn't look like anything much else is going on. I'm assuming that just takes us up. Okay, let's go. And we have action right out the front door here. Now, I don't ha I doubt I have to come that way, right? But let's just walk out here and see. Oh, here we go. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow, uh, which will be the right button. 
after breaking posture. Okay. And so enemies are going to have a health bar and a posture bar. And we're going to get a look at that now. Let's just go right in. And that's the death blow. Alright. These guys, we should be able just to go at them with our attack. And they should go down pretty easily, so these are basically grunts. I could block with left button, but for those guys, we can kind of knock down their posture with some quick attacks and take them out. Before we go any further, I am going to go ahead and pop this heal. Because I've explored this one little area right here, and I fought these first five or six guys. And so I kind of know this one part is the only part that I've seen. Alright. Deflection. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to achieve swift victory. A left, left button at the moment an attack lands will deflect. Right there. So once you, if you time that deflect just right, you have that moment where you can then counter with the right button death blow. And I got really lucky there and made that look really easy, but that was, a part of that was luck. I knew kind of when to hit the button, but right now for me, part of it is muscle memory that I'm slowly building. Part of it is luck. Uh, that I'm going to call it about 70, 30. Lock on. By locking onto your target and keeping the enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. And so we've been doing that. We'll lock on with the right button. I do want to grab these guys uh, individually if I can. And I think the trick to do that is to kind of scooch up this way. And maybe we can get the drop on him. However, I do see that there are a couple of guys in the back here, so have to be careful otherwise I, if I can kill this guy real fast I might only end up with two if I'm not careful enough I might end up with more than two let's lock on to him alright that went okay it went okay because we didn't pull the guy back here uh, and I think there's another guy to the left. And that gives me time to think about the best way to approach him. Uh, also might not be by just running in there. And I think that's a lot of what the game is about. More than just the reactionary combat. Obviously there's going to be that tr hair trigger reaction. But also about picking and choosing how you want to come at your enemies. Might uh, come and play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That was crazy. Uh, but somehow I landed on my feet. Okay, let's lock on here. I wonder if I could jump at him. Yes! Oh, that was worth it. Oh, no. Oh, no! Yeah, <laughs> you get a moment of glory, but you could be taken out by a scumbag, just like this guy. All right. Get him down. <laughs> I got a little too excited. And that's all it takes is a moment and any of these little guys in a game like this. In a From Software game, you can be killed by anything. No matter how... Like, look at my health. I have basically zero health. So... What do we do in that situation? Well, we're out of healing items. Let's go back and see if Kuro has any ideas. Maybe he's like stashing more gourds. I don't know. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that can find this when you've reached I'll come as He does not have anything new for us. Now usually uh, you know in Souls games you could rest at bonfires. Is there not a place here that we could rest? Doesn't really seem like it. Doesn't seem like a hospitable place at all. So no, we're gonna keep going forward. Um, I, I mean, we could go back out this way, but 
What are the odds that somewhere down there there's going to be anything hospitable? Anywhere we could rest. Okay, so... No resting. Let's march forward. What's probably going to happen is something's going to kill me and we'll have to fight these guys again. Uh, with this much health... Not sure how we're going to avoid death, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, what's this? Wait. I probably came this way already. Oh, no. Oh, yes! Uh, so when I fooled around here before, I found this guy, but I found him by coming up these stairs. And that battle was a little bit uh, more taxing than what just happened. That was amazing. So really got to be on the lookout for those crawl spaces. Okay. Good learning experience there. Um, what's happening here? Is this a ledge? Yeah, I think we can like either hang or we can... Oh, we can wall hug here. Okay. I just feel safer crouched down, like it's not doing anything for me, but like, I feel exposed upright. Jeez. Now this is the way that we came from though, right? When we originally came out, when the lady woke us up. I'm just making sure. That that's in fact the case, right? And that was the guy we had avoided before. Yeah, okay. So all we did was we circled back and we took out one of the guys we had to avoid previously due to the, the whole uh, not having weapons situation. How often will I get turned around and go away that I had previously gone? Oh, that's going to happen for a while. Because, yeah. A little bit outside my genre, but having a lot of fun so far. So I'm sure we're going that way. And now that we uh, cleared these guys out, maybe we can just come through here. And try this. Okay. Yeah, we've got action. Counter Slash. A Counter Slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. Left. Left button the moment the attack lands to deflect, right button after deflecting. Whoa, yeah, we needed some, yeah, he was just hammering us there. Jesus! No, 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 ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. He just kind of broke through our guard. And where's this should put us back where Kuro's at. Yeah, see, here we go. And welcome to the From Software experience. So now we're going to clear these guys again. And we don't have any healing this time. Um, unless... Okay, the healing gourd does replenish. But we don't have any... I, I doubt the healing beads reappear, do they? That'd be too cool. No, we're not getting any more uh, healing beads. So that was kind of a one-time. Here's how they work. Use it, and they're gone. All right, well, let's go. We know what to expect here. I would ideally not want to take on both of them at once. Maybe we'll just wait until the other path's away. Um, okay, shit. Here we go. Let's just take him from behind. Oh shit! I'm gonna say from behind, then he doesn't about face. All right. Yeah, like sometimes they're like so much faster than me for grunts. I can't do like a. I try to do the dodge and 
or the deflect and strike back and they hit me between the deflect and the strike. So I have not mastered that yet as we're about to find out with this encounter right here. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, totally just right through my guard. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. See, sometimes it works and it makes sense and it feels right. Then other times you do the same thing. It feels the same way, but it doesn't happen. So. Don't know when that's going to change to be more consistent. Probably not for a while. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can just pull these guys one at a time. Like so. Come on, boy. And I think for this other guy, since he's a little tougher, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do the drop down on him. Because that seemed to work very well. Is that guy gonna turn around though? Because he could blow this whole thing up. If I don't move fast. Oh shit. Alright, we still got him. That's fine. I would have preferred this guy didn't like light up like that, but... Alright, that's okay. Let's, uh... heal up. And this guy's up here now. Any chance I could come at him another way? Not a ledge, I guess? Not a ledge. Okay. So not really any other way I can come at this guy. Okay, this is not good. Oh, right. We were locked onto the wrong thing there. I don't want him to have high ground. Let's just see some of his moves, I guess. Okay, you can't even do anything with that, I guess. Okay, we got him. Um, or not. Death blow against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Okay, I see that. Shit! Oh my gosh! We did a death blow. It just he just came back stronger from that. It didn't matter. Didn't matter. I figured he might be like weakened in some way, but he wasn't. He didn't give a shit. Oh, you stabbed me in my chest. No big deal. Well, I mean that's how it is. Getting the exact experience that we signed up for. You know? Let's get out of that guy's line of sight, please. And I will murder you over here. That's totally dumb. Totally fucking dumb. There we go. Alright. Let's do this part the same way. If anything ever happens the same way. Which it obviously doesn't. That's... Yeah. 
Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Nothing ever happens the same way. And, you know, that's part of the fun of it. And that was also part of the frustrating part of it when you, like, you know you can kill these guys, but then they're gonna kick my ass here because I fucked that up. It's like, that's just what's gonna happen probably over and over again, right? Well, I'm not gonna die to that guy. I will definitely die to this guy, like, instantly, though. I don't understand, like, why they're so good at, like, responding immediately to that block, you know? Do I have to block two of these guys' swings before they're even remotely off-put? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, you can't dodge roll in this the way you would in Souls. I'm not even going to show you what happens when you do that. Was that just timing? Like, am I just not being patient enough, I guess? I need to figure that out, I think, before I'm going to be successful. Yeah, it's timing. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting long enough, but it's it's really hard to wait long enough, I'll tell you that. Yeah, exactly. You can't. Sometimes you can't do that, you know? Sometimes you just gotta attack, and it's like hard to know the difference between when you should defend and wait for that moment, and when you should just like flat out attack them. Try it again. Yeah, I don't get that at all. I don't get that at all. This guy does not have a break moment. He doesn't have a moment where I can get into his guard. Yeah, this this guy is awful. This first boss, I can't take him down. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. I learned nothing new there, except how stupid I am, but I already knew that.
I think they have that one set up to be easier than all the others because it's the learning, it's the learning dummy. Better? A little bit. Not very much. Okay, so you can't block the downward strike at all. Cool. Posture notwithstanding, you just can't block it. take a little break there and when we come back we'll do this again and maybe we'll get closer taking that guy out
There we go. And that's that. Uh, actually, that was the attempt I made right after I stopped recording, so it didn't take 100 attempts. It only took one more. And that is where we will take a better break. Thank you for joining me. Sekiro. Shadows die one million times. Oh, I'm so 